Hello. I have a funny story. So, today when I was coming back from home, from school, I was coming from I-5 South, and I exited um, Delmar Heights Road. And basically, Delmar Heights Road has three lane, uh, three lanes when you exit. There's one that's left only, there's one that's right only, and there's one that's in the middle, either way. Anyways, I was in the middle lane, and I was driving my dad's car, and it's like this 1996 white minivan. And I was almost to the red light, and you know, I was inching up, but all of a sudden my car died. I was like, like that, and my car died, and I tried to like start it like 30 times, but it didn't work, and then um, like behind me there was like this huge line of cars, just like, going like, what the, what the freak dude? And I'm just like, come on, come on down. Pass me because my car is broken. And, you know, some people honked at me. And I just gave them this this look of totally confusion. I'm like, what? You know, anyways. So I was stuck there. There's like, here's my car. And here's the line of cars behind me. And it basically goes my whole arm length. So if you can imagine this is my car. This is one side. So there was a lot of cars behind me. Anyways, so what happened was that all of a sudden there was this like random white guy that came to me from the left. He's like, hey dude, you need some help? And he he was kind of geeky looking. Anyways, um, I was like, yeah, sure. I could use some help. What can you do for me? Well, what I meant was that, you know, I can't really do anything right now. My car's dead. So he's like, oh, well, do you want me to help you push it to the curb? So, you know, turn left and park it to the right side of the road. I, I was like, okay, that sounds good. Because, like, it was, when you exit Dharma Heights Road, it's, like, uphill. So it's, like, impossible for one person to push it up, no matter how strong you are, like me. But I couldn't do it alone, so... I was like, sure, man. I'd like some help. So we were pushing it. I was neutral. I was on the outside the driver's door, you know, pushing it kind of on the ledge, you know, on the window ledge. And he was behind, and he was uh, pushing it from behind. Anyway, so I was controlling the steering. I was pushing at the same time. So we got up past the hill. I was like, yes, finally, hard part's gone, or the hard part's over. And then. And then, you know, there was a d slight downhill. And I was like, oh, good, now it's easy. But what I didn't think about was that, you know, a car isn't very easy to stop because it has a lot of momentum. So what happens was, once we turned left, um, got over the hill, and started going downhill, the car get started gaining speed like no other. It was like at least, 10 or 15 miles per hour and like I don't know how fast they even can run but I can't run that fast anyway so it was crazy because like I was on the side of the car and we were both just trying to pull the car to stop right I was like ah, ah, stop the car and he was like he was like trying to pull it from the behind I don't, I don't know what he's trying to do anyway so he ran to the front of the car and tried to push it to stop which is completely retarded because like it's really dangerous anyway so I was like Shoot, I gotta get in. He's like, he's like, man, you should probably coast your car to a stop now. I'm like, I know. And like, anyways, I started trying to like turn right and bump my wheel to the side of the curb to stop it. But my car didn't do anything. It just kind of shook. I was like, ah, oh, boom, 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 boom. And it didn't work. So I was like, oh, shoot, it's going to hit something. Okay, so anyways, what happened was like, eventually, I, I tried to pull it to stop. I opened the, I tried to open the door, but the car was going so fast. I was like, ah. Anyways. Like, it started going even faster. It's like, crap, what am I gonna do? All of a sudden, like, bam, I tripped and I fell and I started rolling and skidding down the hill. And I got this awesome scar kind of deal. It's pretty manly. And I got one right here. It's not as big, it's not as manly. Anyways, 
So I was rolling on the floor and there were cars coming towards me. I was like, ah! And then like, I got up and I ran and I looked around where my car was. And I found my car stopped in the left turn lane. If you remember, we were trying to get to the right curb, but it ended up in the left lane and it was stopped. I was like, oh shoot, what the freak? Anyways, I saw from the outside of the passenger window, there's like two legs sticking out. I was like, dude, this crazy white guy, oh my goodness, he stopped my car. So like, what happened was that he, when he was trying to push it, he just eventually just jumped in through the window of the driver's seat and he pushed the brake with his hand and it came to a stop. And pretty exciting. Yeah, but that guy's pretty awesome. I forgot his name. It was like Ken or something. Yeah, it was really fun.